I'll probably do this as a politics is done in the darkness type thing, which might then also go on my main YouTube page, only so I can get it to go over to BitChute, because I don't really care about putting stuff up on YouTube anymore. YouTube is still... Mm, even with all the sort of semi kind of censorship, quasi censorship, whatever you want to call it, very, you know, kind of covert censorship, it still is a place where you can get a lot of information, but, you know, I don't really get seen much there anyway, and none of my media really gets seen much. That's why I'll probably put this up as a. Tumblr and I'm impressed by their method of embedding the page in another quite easily without having to worry about writing the code yourself. Um, they have everything set up well in a lot of ways at Tumblr even though that's a place that I'm not sure how much tried some traffic but not not as much as some other sites I guess it's hard to say. Anyway, that all said, I, you know, I shouldn't be annoyed with people. I mean, people are fed what they're fed through the media. Uh, but just to put it out there, whether I should or not is another matter, but you know, whatever. The, the civil war in Syria is not a civil war. People are constantly calling it a civil war. They think that there was an uprising against Assad when really that's greatly exaggerated. And you could go back, maybe it's, I mean, the internet being what it is, maybe they've erased all the evidence, who knows. But for a time you could find articles early on, both in Lib about Libya and Syria, from foreign newspapers. I forget if it was the British press or maybe the Australian press, I don't remember now. I'd have to really search to find the links too, in which they actually said that the sort of mm, intelligence agencies were involved in uh, stirring up trouble in Libya first and then Syria. The, the theory being what the theory that I believe, not the received opinion that we get from the media, is that the whole thing was manufactured by the United States, you know, the countries of the Gulf region that don't like Syria, you know, people like this, Turkey at one point, Turkey more con being concerned about the Kurdish area and the Kurdish situation, I think, is why they went along, why they did it. But Right, so it was never a civil war. It was, you can't have a civil war if you have most of the people who are fighting the government coming in from outside the country. And I think that's generally what was going on. And to call it a civil war just isn't true. It was basically a proxy war, an attack. And then we have all the propaganda that justifies it. And there's still people out there that can't see that the stuff they say about Assad, it's the same thing as saying weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, which was BS also. All right, so putting that aside, uh, I've become aware of this thing called the Misery Index, which I guess the CIA does. They look at what they say the inflation is and what they say the unemployment is, although we know both are much higher than what's being claimed. I would... At least I would say, I, this is what I would <laughs> contend that it is. But, you know, even by their own measures, it's not, it's, they say it was worse in the time right before Reagan got elected. I can't imagine that that's exactly true. Uh, but the index itself, the number itself was higher. It still looks to be, I, I think, if I'm reading it right, like between 6 and 7 and 8 percent. Which is still high because they kind of, they imply at least, I don't know the truth of what they really want, but they imply that zero would be a good number for the misery index. And less than zero makes people even happier. So, 
even by their own standards, it's pretty high, but it seems that people are probably much more miserable than they're allowing for in their index. I, the reason I'm thinking about this is because I heard a, a person, I'm not going to put out the name, but an, an expert, a person who deals in the sort of alternative uh, media and talks about economy and the elite and things such as this, had said it was very high, so I looked it up. I think he said like 30% or something like that. As high as higher, higher, as higher as higher, as high or higher than the Depression era. But as far as I can tell, that's not the case. It's still pretty high though. Well, here we are, living in the time of late empire and late capitalism. The whole thing seems to be imploding around them. They insist on talking about Russia, which is really just to end the, the other day, Putin had said. He had said at first we thought this was funny, but now the people that are coming up with this, they regard as being dangerous, really, because either they're foolish or, or dangerous or both. Because because this is, you know, where, where does this lead and what other kind of stuff? He, he actually said what other kind of stuff that they can come up with that is even more ridiculous. And so we have a phony fake economy. We have phony fake news. We have uh, censorship that pretends not to be censorship. Google using the algorithms, the YouTube stuff that is been going on and anybody can find out about so I won't even really go into detail about it and here we are this is not my best attempt but I probably will put this up anyway I'm not sure when exactly so um, but yeah okay